Good morning, students. Today, again, continuing lesson. So, before continuing lesson, what we have learned in the last class, just be little step, little time take to recall. In the previous class, we have learned social stratification. Social stratification in that lesson. Social inequality, how is that? Education, how education improving? What kind of the articles has uh, brought by government and uh, included uh, in our constitution? So, upliftment of the our education. When upliftment we see in our education, there is a social justice and uh, equality we see in our society. This we learned in last class. Today, we are going to learn continuing lesson that is social stratification. What is the meaning of the social stratification? What are the features of the stratification? We discuss now. See, students, society in the sense here consists of many people. We say it is human society. Human society classifying into different people. So here, how it is different people we see in the sense here. There is a differentiate. So differentiate between different people. That is, human society consists of superior class, inferior class, upper and lower class. So this is the uh, classification differentiate we see in human society. Okay, this one uh, inequality. See, these people they have the different uh, roles. Superior they can they can work their work. Inferior work uh, they can work uh, their work. And upper class and lower class they have their own work. That is the roles and they have the status. Superior people good status. Inferior no status. And upper class it has grow up um, here. Status, good status, and the lower class, no good status. Like uh, differentiate the uh, inequality we see in human society. This is the concept uh, we see social stratification. And then, what is the meaning of? Now, let's we discuss, students, what is the meaning of social stratification? See, method of dividing people. See here, method, this is the dividing concept. Yes, you know that. Method of dividing people into different strata. See, different strata in sense here, different class. See, superior, inferior, upper class, lower class, like uh, different strata and uh, assigning, allocate different roles and status. They have the different roles and the status, and you know the student superior, they can work their work, and the inferior, they have their work. And the upper class, lower class, they have their work, their status, what they had learned, their education, and their earning. That is the role and the status will bring to them. This is the concept of the social stratification meaning. So once again, students, so method of dividing people into different strata, different class, different class in the sense here, superior, inferior, upper class, lower class, and uh, assigning them, we can identify their work what they are doing, their roles, what, okay, and then what they have the status in society. So by this we can understand society people, this is a, this is a human society, human society differentiate, different people gather their roles and their status, this is the concept of social stratification. And with these students, it has a futures, social stratification, it has a characteristics or futures of hope. Social stratification here. As a student, so first one, first one method, first one step of social stratification is social in nature. Okay, social, social concept here. We see the physical trait and the social trait here. So physical uh, class and the social class we see here. What is the differentiate between the social class and the uh, physical traits? Now see, social. Stratification is social in nature. So social stratification identified by social recognition. 
society how they have their uh, status their position by we understanding how we are identifying the society people here okay and uh, social recognition importance and uh, physical taste we are understanding the people of the society okay example we are not uh, identifying by the physical state of the society people okay uh, we cannot uh, identify their height we cannot uh, identify the beauty you cannot understand uh, identify the strength this is a physical state so physical state is height beauty strength why we cannot uh, recognize in social stratification okay how we are recognizing the social stratification in the society as a social as here based on based on society peoples based on their education what they have learned and their what uh, income they gathered what in what income they are earning and then profession a teacher a doctor a worker carpenter painter the different uh, professions by we are understanding and the skill what they had a skill these are all the concept to say the social states that is the future of social in nature this is the first uh, concept second one future of uh, social stratification it is universal so universal in the sense where we see the human society in the world there will be a social state and physical state this is the concept very simple so wherever a human society existed we see the social stratification and the social stratification exists how how we, how it formed in the sense exist based on division of labor the workers the workers what the workers doing teacher doing teaching doctor uh, looking the patient okay painter painting the wall and house okay based on their labor of work identifying the identifying the uh, people here okay and then profession and income what they are uh, earned the income by we are identifying that is the social stratification and uh, other social states by we are uh, identifying there is a social uh, stratification exist so wherever in the human society there is a universal social stratification okay and then social the third one point social stratification is ancient it is not today's human a modern uh, civilized uh, society it is not existed in modern civilized society it was existed from when the birth of human okay so birth of human society when it was formed and when it was born then onwards we see the uh, social stratification it is ancient okay ancient what kind of the social stratification we see in the sense here there was a nomadic society so nomadic society how it was in the nomad nomad in sense uh, roamer roamer what they had they what they were doing in the sense here only their work is satisfaction of their hunger so collection of food moving one place to another place collection of food moving one place to another place this is the nomadic uh, life of uh, ancient time there was a nomadic uh, social society there was also we see the social stratification and also still today modern society we have that is civilized society like your different social states uh, existed this is one uh, another one features of uh, social stratification that is ancient not today and the last one point of this uh, social stratification future that is social stratification exists in different ways how in different ways it existed in the sense here different names the society consists of different two peoples different names uh, this concept says ancient period now only the we have the classes uh, sc st scheduled tribe and scheduled caste and the other backward classes like the uh, classification we see in the society but olden days how was the classification did see different names and the areas by the classification society classification uh, were did 
Example, Roman society. How was Roman society classifying into two kinds? One is plebeians, plebeians. Second one is partisans, plebeians and partisans by society classified. So who who were come in plebeians? Plebeians, common citizens of the society. And the partisans, noble men, rulers, work uh, officers. They they comes in this uh, partisans like society classification we see in Roman uh, society. But in our Indian society, Vedic period, four uh, varnas were existed as you know the student already you learned in last uh, previous classes. So four uh, varnas by the Vedic literature that is says karma theory by the based on karma theory our society especially Vedic period society classified into four kinds. One is Brahmana, Kshatriya, second one, third one is Vaishya and fourth one is Shudra and uh, there was a fifth one that is uh, untouchables existed in ancient period. Like the uh, social stratification exists in different uh, names and uh, areas. That is the ways we say in uh, la uh, ancient period it was. Now uh, as it is students um, by area, we are classification doing by their uh, status, by their caste. This is the social stratification futures. Students, uh, another one great uh, social disease, this one kind of social disease, inequality, that is untouchability. So untouchability, touchable persons, discrimin discrimination of untouchables. Uh, lower people, total lower uh, people on them, un untouchables doing untouchability, this is concept here. So let's we see why, how, when did this untouchability concept uh, came and uh, what are the government uh, ready to fight this uh, stop the untouchability, we discuss now. See, as you know the student from Vedic period, Vedic fear onwards, there was a Varna system I said uh, in uh, futures of uh, stratification, ancient. Uh, here, society classified into four kinds as you know the Brah Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. What they were role, what they had the role, okay, a professionalist, what they, what they do the work here. Brahmana, study, teaching and agnas. Brahmana's main work is. Kshatriya, his work was political administration. Okay. And Vaishya, his work is business. And Shudra's work is manual laborers, writing work and uh, in uh, uh, kingdom, whatever the administration, writing work as done by uh, Shudra. And uh, fifth one, there was a fifth one uh, classification that is untouchables were there in uh, Vedic uh, civilization time, Vedic period. So uh, untouch uh, untouchables uh, considered as a, they weren't a humans, humans not a those people untouchables, okay, like they were the animals. Okay, issues, we see the issues between the touchables and the untouchables. Uh, how in the sense here, profane and uh, sacred ideas. See, profane and sacred ideas, this one, holy concept. By the holy concept and the religion text, by we yeah, seeing the issues between the uh, tribal peoples, sorry, between the touchables and untouchables. How we can see the issues between the touchables and untouchables since based on the profane and sacred ideas. These were the religious texts, religious uh, uh, philosophy by the identity India, classifying also. Okay, and also based on inequality, touchables uh, uh, classifying or uh, differentiate uh, how doing in the sense here, based on inequality. Where we see the inequality in the sense here, so, social in society, they didn't get any respect here. In the sense, that they they hadn't their role because untouchables they were in 
lower class. Okay, and then their economic condition was completely lower. So differentiate we see the unreserved unreserved here. Okay, so and with this one here see the students of British government when uh, British government uh, acquired India, they little bit concept uh, they brought one act here. See British government the 1935 act they brought. So what it says in since year 1935 act those untouchables and the tribal peoples. They are identifying a different uh, uh, class here. They made here. So what uh, identification class they made is in here? Untouchables and the tribals consider are included to uh, scheduled cast and scheduled tracks. So they made the SCST. So SCST with the war coming now with them, untouchables and tribals uh, added by uh, British government by the implementing of the 1935 Act. And uh, Dr. Ambedkar, as you know the student, the untouchability concept to washing out or destroy the main struggle was did by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar here. He says one statement, you are sending untouchable to villages outside, where were they come from? First, the birthplace of the village only. So everyone uh, born in the village, why you do, uh, why you are sending them outside of the village? This is the concept says birthplace of uh, untouchables, the same birthplace of the touchables. Why you are making the group of untouchables and sending out of the village? This is the statement given by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and the struggle a lot. As you know, the student uh, is a struggle. Uh, he was uh, become a drafting committee member and uh, he brought the constitution and made uh, many uh, articles. Those articles one uh, vanish the untouchability here. Okay, and Gandhi also struggled with the Ambedkar. Gandhi untouchability about uh, saying one statement. Untouchability, it is one kind of heinous, horrible, heinous and the expression, heinous expression, horrible expression of a caste system. In caste system, untouchability, it is one kind of the horrible. This is a statement given by Gandhi. And also, he said, Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi also he said, this is a leprosy. This is a leprosy, it is one kind of the disease attached to the Hindu skin. So, untouchability it is one kind of the disease, and it is where we see it is attested with the Hindu skin, like uh, the statement has given by uh, Mahatma Gandhi. So, this is the untouchability, the social evil. How untouchability it is the social evil, and uh, remaining uh, class, what kind of the problems? Uh, Undoubtedly, peoples were facing, and what kind of the solutions government has given, we can discuss uh, next class, students.